Muffins will advance into the next round of the Whiskers Poker Tour. We wish you luck, Muffins. You all are familiar with Article 1, Section 8, Clauses 1 and 3 in the Constitution, right? Well, today, Gibbons and Ogden are very familiar with it. Gibbons, previously losing his first case to Ogden, is taking his new case to the Supreme Court today. We interviewed both. Mr. Gibbons, why exactly are you here today? Well, I just wanted to use New York waterways. I have federal permission, but New York denied me access to the waterways. I'm here today because federal government has more power over the state and I should be able to use the waterways with my federal permission. Mr. Ogden, what do you think the outcome of today's court ruling will be? Well, I think Gibbons was wrong, and it's still wrong. It was my monopoly, so he needed a permit to be on my river. So I think that justice will really be served today. Christina Lyons is reporting live downtown at the courthouse to bring you the story. Christina? Thank you, Ayla. I'm standing here in downtown New York at the courthouse, and the trial is underway. Earlier, we interviewed members of the New York Legislative. I'm on Gibbons' side because he has a point. I don't think there's anything wrong with what he did. Well, I like money, and I think Ogden was Why correct. Because if you own a monopoly, you're entitled to every penny of it. I think it's unconstitutional because it makes sense that the federal government is more powerful than the states, but we'll just have to wait and see. Any minute, the court ruling. Oh, here they come. Mr. Gibbons, how do you feel the court ruling was? I feel that the court made a good decision. Justice was truly served. Mr. Ogden, what you No have? comment. Mr. Ogden. I'm not going to talk about it. Mr. Ogden. Get that camera out of my face. Justice was not served. So today, that means that New York legislator passed a law giving monopoly on steamboat travel in New York State. Thomas Gibbons wants to use New York waterways given federal permission. New York State denied access to the waterways and cited its law enforcement. The majority opinion, written by Marshall, said that the Constitution had a commerce clause that allowed the federal government to regulate commerce, and in this case, trade, wherever it may be, including inside the borders of the state. This means that Gibbons won his case. Previously, it was thought that federal government had power over interstate commerce, but Marshall's opinion said that the commerce clause applied to here, too. Thus, the Supreme Court extended the definition of interstate commerce and centered the power of the federal government over state government when laws conflict. Yeah, it's a person. Oh, Members of the, oh, yeah, legislation. Members of the New York legislation. He just won. Oh, yep. Doesn't he have his lights on to go that fast? Sure. Wee, 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 wee. All right, you ready? Uh, wait, no. Okay. Thank you, Ayla. Okay. Mr. Ogden, what was the outcome? No comment. Mr. Ogden, please. I'm not going to talk about it. Get that. <laughs>